If you use Kako's Reaper, you are familiar with the fact that when you go to record anything, hit the record button, and you can hit space, and that stops it. And if you messed up a take, you can just hit delete all, and then hit OK. But did you know that there's a way to make this a one-step process instead of three? Because if you stop... If you stop recording, one, two, three, to delete a bad take. But we can bind an action. I don't know what it's actually called. I call it binding. If we go up to, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Go to actions menu, show actions list. And then up here, we're going to look for record, delete, and see how it says stop, delete all, recorded media. We're going to click on this. And then down here, go to add. And the option that I have open is shift space. So we're going to hit OK. Now that's going to be bound to that action. Hit X. We're going to record something. And then instead of hitting the space key, I'm going to hit shift and space at the same time because it's a bad take. Ready? So arm it, record, control R, and then again, shift and space. Look at that. So shift and space, it immediately deletes it. It saves you on steps. I'm back in the studio recording things, and this is going to save me a ton of time. I wish I would have found out about this action years ago because having to do this, one, two, Three, over and over and over, especially on a laptop where there's a touchpad. And I hate laptops, but sometimes you have to record with laptops. This is going to be so much easier because in order to record, I just hit Control R. And now if a bad take happens, you know, hey, I messed up. Shift, space, and immediately we're back at the beginning. By the way, if you don't go back to the beginning, here's how to change that option. By back to the beginning, I mean if, you, if you're recording and your edit cursor or whatever it's called, this, this thing right here, this line right here, I think it's called the edit cursor. It might maybe called something else technically. But anyway, this may stop at the end of where you recorded. You don't want that when you're tracking. So in order to change that, here's what you do. Go up to Options, Preferences, or Control-P, as always. And we're going to look for Editing Behavior right here click that and then you want to uncheck if it is checked move edit cursor to end of recorded items on record stop uncheck that so that when you hit the shift space key you're just going to start off at the beginning or wherever you left off at otherwise here's what happens if you if you have that on so i'm hitting record Shift space. Oh, actually, it did work. Okay. So if I hit record, hit space, hit space again. See, it's it's right there. The edit cursor is at the end. And I was having issues with that the other day. I don't know why it wasn't going back to the home, to the very beginning where I had it recorded. But it was giving me problems. And let's see if it works again. If I hit delete all. Okay, it reset. I don't know why it was giving me problems, but if it is giving you issues, then yeah, make sure that's disabled. And you're good to go. Again, over time, saving on three clicks is a huge deal. I hope you guys liked this tip. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. I appreciate all comments. I read all comments. This has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com.